Hello, my fellow Rome Tuplers. Zarip here with Infinitum. Hello. Hello. I'm sick, but I'm not giving up because today we are watching at two people we know well enough to care about. It's Killerfish against Gamer Dudester, and this is first round of uh, Battle Flash Tournament number 52. So let's take a look. Let's take um, a look. I will start to... with uh, okay. G uh, GG's composition because it's easier, and then you go for Killerfish. So GG picked Iceni. Uh, he have four uh, heroic riders on his right. Then he has uh, two Briton slingers. Uh, like medium worthless units, they have ten instead of eight, but not twelve uh, damage. He have two spear bands and uh, six heroic nobles. So a bit of a spammy build, but uh, in rules of a tournament. And uh, as we already discovered, uh, heavy infantry is not the best way to play, honestly. So let's take a look at Egypt of Killerfish. Okay, right on the left we have. A uh, Citizen's Cav, a Palomic Cav, a Citizen Cav, a Camel Archer, and a Foreal Spears, and his Bodyguard in a Palomic Cav. Uh, Mercenary Rodian Slingers, a Foreal Spears, another Foros with a Rodian Slinger. Rodian Slinger, Rodian Slinger with a Royal Guard. Um, a Foros Spears, a Galatin Royal Guard with a Rodian Slinger. And they're supported by two Palomic Cav units. Yes, and that's yeah. uh, that's Killerfish's build. So that's two elite very, infantry units. Yeah, very weak on infantry, but as, as he still played it like Shogun, actually. It's yes, that's how we played our two v two, and that's how I play it, the game. It, it works. Yeah. It is, especially in one v one, because but this map may be a bit too narrow for that. Oh, and oh, this Briton is he going to get into trouble? the uh, skirmishes with the Palomic yeah. Cav? No, I think he likely will be catched. No, he gets away no. by losing one man, I think. He sh no, he didn't lose anything. Okay. And nice charge. So that's the skirmishes, but Killerfish is flagged. He's not white crowing yet. It, oh, now he moves it back. He's. Uh, it's interesting what GD will do. Two of his cavalry, including his gen, are caught up. It's it's obviously a problem. And Killifish, look at him. Getting closer, his camel archers, to deliver this uh, penalty to cavalry. Yeah, I noticed him doing that earlier in the TWCC tournament. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice tactic. What he did. Absolutely. And General of GD is done. It's routing. He's gone. He's gone. So we've got a little tie-up over here on, on GD's right. And what what I've noticed Killifish doing is he's bringing Furios Spears, which is medium infantry, so he can always get away from a fight, which is a smart idea. Yeah, but uh, Killifish not microing everything well enough. No. Uh, his Ptolemy cavalry near the um, coastline got charged. His Galatel Royal Guards got almost caught. But he managed to get away. Yeah, but he managed to uh, make GD pop his um, his charge ability, which has made GD's troops um, tired, exhausted. Yeah. So there's no way that he's going to catch up now. And look, another wavering heroic riders. So GD will be left with one heroic riders and a uh, crap uh, ton ooh, of infantry. Nice rear charge from Killerfish's Palomic. I can't actually say that unit's name, but... Oh, insta route for this yeah, two spear band. Well, yeah, not insta, nice. but still. So Z short cavalry being used to its full potential there. I I think this game is over, honestly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no there's killerfish. no way that GD can catch Killerfish's skirmishes now. Well, Killerfish still can make uh, some sort of mistake, but he's, he, for example, look at these uh, Hellenic Royal Guards. They're out of pike formation. That's huge. Yeah, but mm. is it going to matter in the long game? That's the thing. Yeah, some nice rear charges on these yeah, uh, remaining. I'm, I'm really liking how Killerfish is using this shot cap to its full. Oh, insta routed that unit. Insta routed it. I'm actually taking back my words about sort of spam because half or at least three 
of swords I've seen. It's not uh, heroic nobles, no, but... No, uh, they're um, chosen sword man. Yeah, which means they're even weaker. So where he invested his <laughs> money? Cavalry? Um, yeah, yeah. he had a bunch of heavy cav. Four of them, at least. So Hellenic Royal Guards should kill this chosen sword band, no problem. Uh, last cavalry unit, 58 men still. But it's a way... Um, yeah, I think it's uh, this game yeah, he's decided. Yeah, he's always left now is clean up action. And once again, it's a great example for you guys. Uh, this game, it has the soul of Shogun too, to some extent. Uh, yes, there is both instead of Matchlux. Uh, but uh, this, if you remember the video I made on modular approach, when you pretty much kite in different directions, uh, it's all here. It's all on your ability to micro a lot of units at the same time. And yeah. look how decisive this victory is. I think maybe we've just got lazy, haven't we, since the elite units came out and a lot of our micros lapsed quite a lot. So Yeah, but uh, they, they work. Heavy infantry spams work because... But if you take... Uh, how should I put it? The player who takes skirmishes have a chance to take full control of a game. While yeah. people who rush, he have to rely on opponent making mistake. And this is a big difference. Skirmishes equal control.